I have this gesso board. It's 12 by 16. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. You can get it back in the canvas area. Um, so it's basically a hard board that already has gesso primer on top of it. So it's white. Make sure you watch for your 40% off. Today I'm using Salt Wash and some Republic Red. And I placed it in a paper plate and I'm just using a popsicle stick or a craft stick and mixing um, this up. This is a paint additive, so it thickens your paint. And you just want to work it till it's the thickness that you're looking for. I try to look for almost like an icing consistency. I grabbed this stencil from Michaels. It's basically of a brick wall. And I'm going to use a, um, a little painting knife here. Uh, you can use a spackle knife. And I'm just placing it all over my stencil. When I first put it on, I kind of want it to be a little on the heavier side. So I'm not um, grabbing the stencil at this point. And you just want to fully cover the area that you want to be raised. So in this case, I'm covering the entire stencil. And then you're going to go back and kind of lift, uh, pull back some of the excess paint. Then you're going to lift your stencil. Uh, in this case, I just laid it right back down. You could wait till it dries, depending on how comfortable you are. I just kept moving forward and just lined it up the best I could, placed it down and repeated, placing the paint down and lifting it back up. And then I waited for that to dry and I painted the entire brick with Snow Owl by Wise Owl. Both the salt wash and the Wise Owl paint you can find at chocolateupfancy.com. Now I'm taking baby wipes. Instead of using a sanding method, I'm just wiping back the paint. And this is called wet distress. You can do this on furniture instead of using sandpaper. And it's basically where I can be a little bit more specific as to where I want it to be worn down and where I don't want it to be worn down. So I kind of want this to look like a distressed brick wall. Now, once this dries, you're going to want to add your one hour enamel clear. Uh, my video cut off, so I was not able to show that. And I'm using the Transfer Patriotic. And I'm removing it from its protective lower covering and placing it on my brick little plaque here. Now, all the um, transfers come with a stick. That's what I'm using to uh, rub the image onto the brick. There's a top protective coating that stays there. And as you're rubbing, you can kind of see the image start to release. And I just try to go through my entire transfer and rubbing all the image at first before I start to lift the top coat away, the top, uh, the top protective film away from the image. Some of this is hard to see, but you can actually see the image releasing from the paper, from the plastic film. Now I'm just starting to lift very gently. You want to take your time. You don't want to just tear it up. You want to just slowly lift it up because if a part of the image comes up and didn't adhere, you could always lay it back down and rub some more. Now, again, make sure that you put the one hour enamel clear down first and allow it to dry. It makes it much easier for this transfer to release. So now I'm using 300 grit sandpaper. It's a little different than what you see me use a cloth because I want my image to have a distressed look to it. So it kind of goes, it doesn't look like it. So it looks distressed with the wall. Then I'm going to put my top coat of the one hour enamel clear. And remember the salt wash, the transfer, the paint, 
and the one-hour enamel clear can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. Once that completely dried, I think this came out really nice. I found this welcome uh, sign at Christmas Tree Shop. It was $5.99. And I found these hanging screws, uh, you know, the ones that you just screw in and it has the little hook at the end. And I pre-drilled at the top of my gesso board and placed these hangers at the top of my USA. And I just hung it on the uh, screen here. I hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkatafancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or brushes, chalkatafancy.com.